Today we're going to learn how to create a pattern using Google Drawings and using some keyboard shortcuts to help us duplicate the pattern. So we're going to start by using the Shape tool. It's right here next to the Line tool. And I'm going to select a shape that is a triangle. And I'm going to just draw the triangle holding the shift key so that the triangle doesn't get squished or stretched out. So that's a good start. And I'm going to then change the color. I want it to be a little bit different. And then the next step is I'm going to duplicate this triangle. I want it to be the exact same size. So I'm going to hold the control key down and just move it a little bit. And then I'm going to let go of the control key, press the shift key to keep it. Um, proportions are going to be preserved there. So now I have two halves of a square and I just need to move it over and down. So I just use the arrow key to tap over and then the arrow key to tap down. And now the square is connected. You'll notice that there is an outline around this and I want to turn that off. And I also want to change the color of this square to a lighter blue or this triangle. Now the bottom triangle, I didn't turn the border color off, so I'm going to click on the bottom triangle and click on the line and then click transparent so I can completely turn that off. Now I'm going to duplicate this collection, this two, um, two triangle collection by using the shift key. So I'm going to click one triangle, hold the shift key and click the second triangle. So I can let go of the shift key now and I'm going to click and hold the control key and you'll notice that my cursor turned into a four sided um, arrow and that means I'm going to be able to move it in any direction, but it's going to make a duplicate. So that's a little bit off from where I want it to be. I want it to be right next to the last one. So I need to do this two more times. So I'm going to hold the control key down and move up and hold the control key down one more time and move down. Now you'll notice these red lines that are showing up on my screen and that's letting me know I have the shape exactly lined up with halfway across the um, one next to it and right halfway or right directly below the one above it. But I notice um, there's a little line here, so I'm going to move this one over and move that one over and move this one over, move that one over, just one space. Okay, so now I have these four uh, squares and you can rotate these. If you want to rotate them as a collection, you need to hold the shift key and click both pieces you want to rotate. And then you can turn it <clears throat> and rotate the pieces. So then I'm going to click these two shapes and I'm going to turn and rotate these. And I need to rotate it again. And then I'm going to click these two bottom pieces and I'm going to turn and rotate these. So now I have four sections. I can change the color of one of these pieces if I want to. I can go in here and make that one yellow if I want or uh, this one can be a little bit lighter. And the next segment we're going to do is going to be circles. So check out the next segment to see how to make circles into a pattern.